Romans chapter uh, 1, verse 16, the Apostle Paul says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel, for it's the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and then to the Greek. And so as we've been asserting each week that Jesus, the gospel, Jesus can meet every basic need of our lives. And so we're looking now at a, a few weeks here at the need that Jesus can meet is this. He can meet our need for his presence in the storms of life. So in John chapter 6, beginning with verse number 16, we read this. When evening came, his disciples went down to the lake where they got into a boat and set off across the lake for Capernaum. Now, Jesus, the scripture says in uh, Matthew chapter 14, which also records this miracle that we're getting ready to look at, that Jesus made them get into the boat. He deliberately uh, asked them and made sure that they were in the boat. Why? Because he had a purpose for this whole deal, and you'll see that as time goes on. So that's the backdrop. The backdrop is that they're in the boat, and uh, they're headed across at nighttime. It says it was dark, and this was the fourth watch, and the fourth watch was between three and six early in the morning. It was the darkest part of the evening. Remember that, the darkest part of the evening. So they get in the boat, and here's what it says in verse 18. A strong wind was blowing, and the waters grew rough. So this is, this is a tough ride, a bumpy ride. And so now not only do we see the backdrop that they're in the boat, but now we see the bumpy boat ride. <laughs> and so Jesus is not in the boat, and uh, they encounter these strong winds and, and the strong waters. Uh, this, one of the verses says, I think it was in, uh, in Matthew 14, that they were buffeted by these winds. They were beaten by the waters and the waves. And you can translate that, they were tormented. This is a rough ride in the middle of the night, the darkest part of the night. And they're three and a half miles out, outside of where they took off and beside it. And so here's the application I want us to look at as we, as we look at this for a moment. You surrounded by any waves of adversity in your life? Is the ride getting rough? Do you wish somehow, some way it would go away or ease up? Are you filled with fears? Let's talk about fears for a second. Someone said this. They said, we all have fears. And most fears, by the way, are never fulfilled. And here's something you might try. Take 10 things you worried about and fear the most. Write them on a piece of paper. Put that paper in a safe and open it a year from now. And what you would discover is that probably there's been no ill effect in your life because of those fears. Hey, you might want to try that and see what happens. So the disciples are, are in the boat. The water and the waves are, are beating them. They're tormented. And so I'm, I'm wondering, if they're not wondering, where's Jesus? Has he forgotten us? Will he show up? Have you ever thought that? You know, in the midst of the, the difficulties of my life, the fears of, of my life, the adversities of my life, w will he show up? Let me just give you an encouraging word as we close here. Psalm 139 gives us a couple great encouraging uh, thoughts that we need to remember. Verse 7, Psalm 139. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you're there. If I make my bed in the depths, you're there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, and if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there, your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. Well, you think about that.